The summer boating season will soon get underway on Lake Tuscaloosa. Some of you have been out already. On the minds of many is safety. Sadly, one year ago, two women drowned after getting electrocuted while swimming near a dock. So city inspectors are now out this week making sure docks with electric power are up to code. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed out there as well with the inspectors looking at how they're keeping folks safe on the water. Tuscaloosa inspectors have posted 300 of these warning signs on boat docks all around Lake Tuscaloosa. It's being done just as a precaution to keep everyone safe. And that should be about, about good on this dock here. Mark Thomas has a busy job this summer on Lake Tuscaloosa. He's responsible for inspecting hundreds of boat docks that have electric power. We, we need to update the electrical. Um, the fixtures are not rated to be out here on the water. Thomas will be using his city boat to visit the docks to make sure that they are up to city code. There are 1,400 docks on the lake. He will be posting these warning signs so swimmers and boaters know the potential danger with electric wires that may be in the water. Anybody visiting the dock, either from land or from water, the first thing they should see is this electrical warning sign to notify them, hey, there is electrical on this dock. There are a few new rules for lake residents. In order to get dock annual user permits, they are required to have a certified electrician make sure docks are properly wired. They're being required to get uh, have an electrical certified ele electrical professional uh, certify that their dock does is safe. Milligan also says residents can no longer have underwater lights or pumps at the boat docks. Well, I hope it brings awareness to the uh, dock owners that they are potential dangers around a dock that has electrical components. Residents have until May 31st to get their boat docks up to city code. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, Tim, thank you.